Okay, honey. Mommy is going to get you all set up. We have your favorite pop-out book. We have your favorite snack. Okay? Now, what's not fun at all is that Mommy has to study organic chemistry and world history. Oh, I'm in the no-fun zone today. But don't worry. We have everything that we need. Almost. Hey, how you doing? Okay. It's not like I got a hot shower in our apartment either. Oh, breakfast is cold cereal too. Oh, great. All the comforts of home and no study. Hey, Marco. I know you're not supposed to talk about your case and with Lynx and Ford and all that stuff, but I'm really sorry. It's not your fault. Well, maybe it is. How is any of this your fault? I do. About Lynx and Ford. You know, when Star told me, she said that Lynx was breaking up with you right then. When? A couple months ago. Only she didn't break up with you, she ended with Ford instead. And this Star begged me, you know, she's not to say anything because it was over. Only it wasn't. Yeah. But I, I mean, even if it I, was. I, I know, I know, I know, I know you had a right to know. Yeah, I did. No matter what, if, if, if Langston had broken it off with Ford. You know, Star still begged me not to say anything. She said it made no sense to hurt you. Oh, right, yeah, because this, this worked out much better. Well, look, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? You know, Star and I, we, we, we fought about this a lot. So everybody in my house, my best friend, everybody knew what was going on except me. I can't believe I let it happen. You know, even if it hurt, you deserve to know. Cole, please. I know in my dad's line when he's not, okay? He's telling the truth. And the fact that, that you won't even hear me on this, it's making me wonder how well I know you. And maybe you shouldn't come here anymore. Are you all right? 